Ascension it is then. Got the boy Dempsey. Main power offline. Auxiliary power activated. No one can ever tell me why there's always a big switch to go find. Really? Please, help me. She's coping. The mechanism must be repaired. Uh, was it just me or did you guys hear a voice? I still personally think they should have obviously put Zombie Chronicles on for Black Ops 4, but never mind. That's how they wanted to do it at the end of the day. It's a shame. Because then obviously just put every single map on it. The e well, instead of calling it Zombie Chronicles, they could have just called it the e Ether Maps. Ether Collection or something. So then you got literally every single map. <laughs> every map from, obviously, from Natch to Toten, well, from Natch and then all the way to Ferret. Is stuck in the gap of the wall, invisible wall. I still do personally think sword flare, with whatever it is, the gobble gun I've just got, is so underrated. Giving you the ability, ability just to knife them, so kill of them because it's times five damage. So you need to shoot them one clip and then just knife them, just to make it that a little bit faster. Getting points. Right. See what the first gun is, shall we? Don't power on. No look. Main power on low on ammo. Auxiliary power deactivated. Rocket machine gun goodness. Love it. Very cool. Alright, second one. 
What's this? Oh, dude. <laughs> Well, no, it didn't last long anyway. It died. Initiating cooler navigation systems. Awaiting security protocol. One, three, two, five, five. Back off! So I literally got the AK and then the thingy dolls. Oh, the golden. Is it Bagusha? <laughs> It just shows you just how much of a difference it actually makes for when you've got double tap, especially when they obviously took it off. Obviously took it off of obviously Black Ops 4. It just shows you just how much of a difference it is when you've got it on the game. It just makes your guns just so powerful. Especially obviously when you've got the right setup. Everything's just so powerful with double tap. Which I personally think they should have kept in Black Ops 4. Without a doubt, they should have kept it. Shouldn't have got rid of it, should have kept it. Yeah, it was kind of nice that, oh yeah, I can double pack a punch, triple pack a punch, quadruple pack a punch and my gun gets powerful, but nah, I still prefer double tap, because then it's like double tap is pretty much four pack a punches on obviously Black Ops 4. I'm gonna say this is on the wall, isn't it? Is this on the actual wall somewhere? They obviously know hey, that dude, the thingy. You wanna get me some ammo? They are K5 in the in the spawn, but To my guns. Or did it replace? It replaced Thingy, didn't it? <laughs> Whoa, that was sour. Wow. The is it the HVK or whatever it's called? There's I'm all out of juice. Freak meat marrow, 
target! I say that's the advantage if you get if you get obviously get the box when you spin the box. If obviously if you're doing the two box challenge you get if you get a gun off the wall you obviously got advantage because then you can keep getting ammo back. So you'd have to worry about it in a way. Yeah, okay, so sweet. So I've technically got two. Yo, need some juice. So it don't really matter how much I kill them, because I'm not exactly going to be using the points anyway, except just buying ammo. For how much the kills I'll be getting anyway, I'll be getting enough just to recycle anyway. Can't really remember as well if it actually gives you. Does it give you? Does it actually give you perks on the map as well? Because obviously I know on this map it always gives you double tap, nearly double tap all the time. Because obviously since double tap's not on the map, since back when this came out, no one really likes double tap. So they got rid. So then that's when they changed it to double tap 2.0. Which is the best thing they could have done, really. Keep him out for a few seconds. It made it a lot better. No, this isn't as much fun when we don't have bullets. Because it's like even with double tap as well, it just makes every nearly every single gun better because of the fact it's faster fire rate plus every one bullet's faster too. And it's like with shotguns and snipers, it makes it so they cock them and obviously bolt it faster. And it's like if they did that... Obviously if they did it for Black Ops 4, a double tap, some guns would have been way better. Warning, re-entry detected. All security personnel on high alert. Sounds like we got a monkey on our backs! Gotta get some ammo before the bloodshed can continue! You won't be back after that! Concentrate on me. Yep, concentrate on me. Yo, no ammo. It's just gonna keep giving me dead shot in it. Juice. 
Risk it. I don't really like Widow's Wine. I've never liked it. Never liked Widow's Wine. Never liked it. Probably because of the fact it makes it so your hitbox is actually a little bit bigger. Yeah, obviously it makes it so it's like an extra defense mechanism system, but it's like it gives you an extra, like it's like an extra hit box in a way. So I'm surprised people aren't really noticed. Plus for that there, you would have noticed that, that the zombie didn't even swing. Before he even did the animation to swing, he hit me. I hope on the next COD as well that they actually make it so there's no perk limit. Because it's not really overpowering at all because of the fact you are going to die. Yo, need some juice. Unless obviously if you do the Easter egg. Well, on this it didn't end the game but except for Origins. But. You can't have a piece of tank. You gotta have the whole thing to be. No, this isn't as much fun when we don't have bullets. Because it does look like you can get it because you see red, but it just keeps giving me dead. Keep forgetting. <laughs> Obviously, because I've been playing uh, Black Ops 4. Low on ammo. It just this just seems just well. To be fair, it's been easy since they did the first flight. When it when they did the first major patch, they actually made it so the zombies didn't technically start running till past 20. Like they, all of them didn't run till 20. Since when this came out, it was like round two. The zombies were running, obviously. And then obviously all the zombies community started being crybabies, saying all oh, the zombies are print sprinting too fast. I gotta get some ammo rounds. before the bloodshed can continue. Yeah, mate. You're just a bunch of crybabies. Security personnel on high alert. Oh, this doesn't sound good. Die, you undead space monkey! With this, the faster the better. <laughs> oh shit, it does. It just totally erases the grenade. That zombie, that, I mean, that monkey just bought with it. Hey, dude, you want to get me some ammo? <laughs> the 
Hit it last one. There he is. If it gives me dead shot, I'm just going to get it. It did. It. It just teleported to stamina up. It did. It teleported. It just instantly just teleported to stamina up when I knifed him. Obviously. <laughs> what the? I can't. Well, it just killed the game. They actually just teleported. They just teleported to stamina rope. So I was thinking, oh, I might as well just get dead shocks. Then I get free perk. System defenses offline. Game plot otherwise. Game four, otherwise. Next, I can't even buy a thingy anymore. Oh yeah, there's still chunks falling. Shit, I'm surrounded. Feel that, Marrow Maggot. Plus, I think as well, it, um, Black Ops 4 would have been a lot different if they actually made it so the zombies didn't actually run through each other. Because obviously on this, same again, that's what makes it easier. The zombies, when they're, like, when they're in a line, they don't run past each other. I personally think as well they should have kept. They should have obviously. Kept. Well, to be fair, it, it kind of makes sense that they made it so like zombies on obviously the point system on Black Ops 4 was. It was more damage dealt than actual. Bullets hit. Because then it makes it so for the people that obviously they want to play zombies, but obviously they're not good at it. So they thought, right, let's just make it so the system, the more damage you do in one shot, the basically the more points you get. So if you kill the zombie in one hit, you are technically getting the most points. Oh, the hands so there. The Obviously the pistol, starting pistol, put the knife on it, it's killer because you make points. Yo, no ammo. The same again, it's a lot easier to make points on this. Well, try it. 
zombies than it is Black Ops 4. Pants that I've obviously got 31,000 already. It was kind of weird with using Deadshot as well because I never used it. I've, I never used it. I actually never used Deadshot. Never use it. Warning: re-entry detected. All security personnel. Are right. Let's see if he does it again. Where the monkey just automatically just teleported to Stamina Road. Well, no, because he won't go to Stamina Road. You find it because I ain't got Stamina Road anymore. You find it. Because the monkey just immediately just teleported to him on the last one, and I was just about to kill it to get a free perk, and that's the reason why I brought Deadshot. Because then I just got a free perk anyway. See if it actually does it again. Because he spawned all the way over. For some reason, he spawned all the way over here. It happened. I knifed him, and he just immediately just teleported to Stamina Road. And just took it instantly. Never mind, look, it'll give me mule kick. Oh, it gave me jug. Actually, gave me juggernaut. Gave me juggernaut. Security level normalized. Gave me juggernaut. System defenses offline. Because it actually gave me. Well, I still can't believe. I've never seen that. For how long I've been playing Zombies 4? Well, Black Ops 3. <laughs> I've never seen the monkey teleport. He just instantly teleported. I was right next to the Wonderfizz. Knifed him. He instantly just teleported two stamina up and just instantly took it. I've never seen that. Never. I think it's bad time. I, uh, I pack a punch to me weapons. You guys are just falling apart. I think it's big deep. Last ones up here, in it. It's the one that I need. I'll just go this way. But yeah, the need. Now this isn't as much fun when we don't have bullets. For the new card, they seriously need to make it so there's no perk. You can just you can just buy as many perks as you want. It's about time they did that. But yeah, I know it's like the whole point. People play differently. Yeah, you get different perks, blah blah. So then it pretty much make you like different all the time. Cool. It's like I'm gonna take down every one of you undead skin swords. I don't really. Think people care in a way, now that's just a good. which obviously they shouldn't. It shouldn't really matter because of the fact. Same again, you die at the end. You will die. So what's the point in giving a perk limit? You will die at the.